Hey, what's up, tubers? This is Superdale, and today I got another video for you, and it involves getting free phone home service in your home. All right, you can get free phone service in your home using, you know, phones similar to this. All right, I know we at the age where everybody in the the two year old baby has you know cell phones but it's always good to have a backup guys you already know this you know how I am about having a backup so if you're new to this channel it looked very interesting go ahead click that subscribe button also click that like button hit that bell all right that way you get notified anytime I release any content on YouTube stay tuned guys we about to get into this free service and um, go from there salute let's go Alright guys, let's go on here with this presentation. As you see right here, this is the face of it right here. This is the OBI um, adapter. Alright, got some vents on the side, but in the back it's very important. You plug the regular phone cord that comes from your phone unit, that will go right here. Okay, then it has a USB, don't worry about that one, then you got a Ethernet port. Alright, that's where we're going to plug in the Ethernet cord, and then we got the power. So, uh, when you unbox it, of course, you get the power plug. You get, they give you a Cat5 Ethernet cord. And also, you get some instructions, all right? You get some instructions. So, that's pretty cool. But let me show you what you're going to need, though. Of course, you need internet, all right? And you need a router, all right? I ain't going to show that one right now. Let me show, let me show, hold up. This is the router that I use right here. This is the Nighthawk. So you can use pretty much any router. This is the one I use. Very, very powerful unit. The Nighthawk X10. But in the back of your router, you always got something that looks like this. All right. All right. So what you would do, you would take your Ethernet cord. If it's, if it's long enough or if you're going to set it up over there, you take this and plug it into one of the ports all right you'll plug it into one of these ports that's on the back um and then go from there but um also let me screw that to the side you can also use uh a network switch and the network switch is just a device that allows you to plug in multiple um devices using using um ethernet cable Use an Ethernet cable all in one area. That way you ain't got to keep running, you know, lines and lines to the same area. This basically is a splitter right there. Alright. So you can bring that main wire right here and then you'll have four ports. One for your Blu-ray player, one for your PS4, one for your TV, your smart TV, and you can use this for something. You know, that's where the network switch is, and that's what I'ma hook up to. Alright, so let me go ahead and move that out the way. And we're about to go on here and get into it. Now, I want to show you something. All right. Let me show you the difference. All right. This is a Cat5 right here. This is the Cat5 that we're all familiar with. But a lot of the younger generation are not familiar with this. This is, is similar, as you see, very, very similar. All right. All right. But the small one, all right, that's your phone line. That's where I grew up on. And this is just the thick one. This is the Ethernet. All right. This is a RJ6 right here. All right. Ethernet cord. And this is a RJ11. All right. So, I, hopefully I'm saying it right. <laughs> I, ain't gonna, I ain't mean the RJ. This is a Cat5. Cat5. <laughs> this is Cat5. So, I apologize. All right. Cat5. And then we're going to go from there. All right. So, that y'all seen it. Um, that's for my younger people. Uh, you've seen it. First thing first, let's go ahead plug the power in to the unit. All right, I haven't plugged it up yet. I'm just putting up, putting in all the cords. Okay, let me untangle this. Next, I'm going to plug the Ethernet into the port, and you know it's connected when you hear that click. All right, so hopefully you heard it. If you didn't hear it, keep pushing it. So you should hear it click again. 
All right, that way you know it's connected. Now, very important, that little cord that goes to this phone right here, that will go right into here. All right, and you should hear it click also. All right, so you hear it. So now that we got all the cores connected, now we need a little bit of power, except for one. Matter of fact, before I do the power, let's go ahead and connect this one to my switch. And remember, my switch is, is the same as this right here. I'm going to plug this in to my switch. And again, you should hear a click. All right, so we got that out the way. Everything is connected except for the power. Okay, uh, let me make this smaller. All you need now, guys, hopefully, you should if you're on YouTube, um, you got a, a Gmail account. If you don't, definitely set up an email through Google. So, we're gonna plug it up. That's one. And we're going to plug up the phone unit too. All right, so everything should look like this. All right, you're going to see everything go green. Just give it a couple minutes, or not a couple minutes, but about a minute. And we're waiting on that that phone, that V O I P. Come on. You'll see it start blinking. There it goes. So you seen the third light as you see it's blinking. All right. So it's blinking. So we pretty much got everything set up on that end. All right. Now, I'm going to just sit that right here. What you want to do is go to this website. Again, hopefully you got a, a Gmail. Um, I just think it's just easier. Here it is right here. All right. You can sign up through your Google account or you can sign up without it you know you could just go through it and display a name email confirm your email password password and then click continue i'm gonna just go through my gmail um and then go from there so it's pretty much gonna ask me what account i want to use all right i'm not going to show you um that personal information but y'all will pick one uh, for yourself, I'm going to just go with, uh, I'm going to just pick this one. All right. So it says, need to add your OBI device. Click yes to add your OBI device. So I'm going to click, you know, uh, yes. Or you can continue to read. After adding your device, you will be able to set up voice service and other configurations. So I'm going to just click yes. And right here it's just telling you um, if you have an OBI universal phone adapter, you could do it. So I did this already, guys. I did it. And it's just giving you, um, you know, if you're using these devices right here, which I'm not. I'm just using a regular phone. So I'm not using it. But I do have, uh, this is the one I have right here. All right. With that being said, it, um, after it. It comes to this go scroll down you see where it says this check right here I want to configure Google voice on this device so then you will click next and if you want to add an OBI device you can but it's telling me now please pick up the telephone headset and dial star star five one seven two one so I'm gonna come back over here I bring that back so it tells me and I got look I got phone sir so I got something right so I'm gonna take it off speaker let's do star star five one seven what's that two one two one so it's telling me I'm doing it All right, so it's telling me it's been sent to the server. All right. The number you dial, star, star, five, one, seven, two, one, has been sent to the server. Okay. 
So I can click off right now because it's telling me that it's been sent to the server. So it says by selecting the SEP, you acknowledge that the service you are about to enable may not be compatible uh, placing or receiving emergency phone calls. Um, you are advised to inform those who are who use the service of this fact and provide an alternative means to reach emergency service. Um, example, a line line or mobile phone. So, of course, you know, make sure they know other literature down here. All we want to do is just, just click accept. So let's click accept. And now that's where you go into the terms and everything. You can read that if you have Google Voice. It will work. It will appear on recipient recipient uh, recipient <laughs> uh, call ID. All right, uh, recipient. That's what I meant to say. All right, call ID. So you can go through it. Of course, it tells you about the emergency phone calls and all of that. Bill payment. You won't have a payment, guys. Uh, and you should be good. Once you read that, all you have to do is go up here and click accept. And it just says uh, if you want to configure the name, you can leave it at Google Voice. I may put mine as uh, uh, Superdale. Let's see that. Superdale TV. If you want, I'm assuming you can. Um, you want to put in the area code, all right? 313, because I'm part of Detroit. Uh, use the service. Uh, I don't want to use it as a security or nothing like that. Let me scroll over. And once you're done, you, you're doing whatever you want to do. All you have to do is hit finish setup. And so let me scoot this over just in case they show some... Um, Alright, so what it did right here is telling me to choose one of my accounts, my emails. So again, I'm going to choose Superdale. Alright. And let me just make sure before I show y'all. Alright, all right, so this is what I got right here, guys. So I just want to make sure, because I don't want to show no personal information. It's just telling me I got to set up with TV at gmail.com. This will allow Obitalk to what? View and send chat messages. Configure the device to make it receive voice call. Make sure you trust Obitalk. Um, you know, just, just regular terms and services, agreements, stuff like that. So just hit allow. And there you have it. Please confirm your Google Voice account you are trying to use. All right. So I'm going to scoot this over just to make sure. All right. Just to make sure I don't have no personal. All right. So let me go on and slip this back over here because I don't see nothing. So it's telling me, give it up to like two minutes. Uh, I did read that in, in the instructions. So it's configuring everything right now, as you see. You got the MAC address, serial number, uh, you can device, you can do all of that. Add me, you can add all of that to it. But uh, give it like up to two minutes and then you'll go from there. So this is very easy to set up, guys. Very, very, very easy. Very easy to set up. And so once it's done, figuring, I mean, configuring itself. I will come back, but we're going to pause it until it's done. But you got to give it like two to three minutes so it can configure everything. All right, guys. So uh, it says registration not required. So I think we are good. Good. So what I'm going to do, all right, it's telling me that the registration is not required. Let's see. I do have. Let's see if I can call my cell phone. <laughs> so as you see it I'm going to hit no alright so there you have it guys there you have it free phone service in your home 
guys if you like this video thumbs up it share this video this is just another way guys that you can use this for business that way you can set up other people too I'm just giving you a little just giving you a little bit of uh, sauce all right to put on that 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 chicken all right so salute to everyone thumbs up the video share the video also if you're not subscribed to the channel here it is here's your chance to subscribe all right salute to everyone thank you be safe out there have fun enjoy this is you can set you can set somebody up in like six seven minutes all right thank you guys i will talk to you guys later i'm out salute peace